Thanks, Jason. Well, here at LaSalle Marina in Burlington, boats would normally go into the water at the beginning of May. Unfortunately, due to renewing their insurance troubles, they were unable to do that this year. As you can see behind me, there are very few boats in the water so far, and they were actually put in by another marina. You're just opening this week. You must be incredibly excited. Tell me about the reaction. Uh, relieved and excited because we had a lot of our members waiting to put their boats in. I'm so glad it worked out. I'm sorry it took those few extra weeks to switch insurance companies, but you know, we're in. Well, it was mostly a matter of detail and I think uh, the perseverance of our broker so that um, we got a policy, actually we got four policies that covered what the old policy used to cover and um, we're set for the year now and uh, relieved that we're not shut down for a second year. COVID shut us down two years ago, and uh, this would have been possibly the end of the marina if we had not uh, managed to open this year. I, I appreciate the other uh, marinas helping out our members, giving them a place to temporarily dock or for the season. I hope they all come back. But I also am very grateful for marinas like Harbor West. They were very helpful to our members. So at least they could get in the water and not have consequences of not launching. So very grateful for that. In addition to the LaSalle Park Marina Association, the delay affected the Able Sail program and the Burlington Sailing and Boating Club. The club runs interclub racing with Hamilton every Tuesday. However, their race committee boat, the Underway, has been up in a dry dock. This year so far, because we're late getting in, we've had to use their boat on Tuesday nights. So I've supplied the race, the crew for the race committee and they've supplied a boat and an operator for us. So it's been an interesting start to the season. Um, so we're really looking forward to getting back to doing that on our own boat. Because <laughs> it's been okay using Royal Hamilton's, but it's not the same. Um, but, uh, and also I just bought a half share in a 25 foot sailboat, so I'm, which is sitting right in here too. So I'm really looking forward to getting in the water on a boat I just bought. <laughs> Well, tomorrow promises to be pretty busy. It's a club event, really. They will be parking a crane right where you are with a 175-foot boom, 300-ton lift, and they'll be lifting boats up and setting them in the water, and they'll fly through the air. I was going to say with the greatest of ease, but that's up to the crane driver. Um, it's very quiet. It can be very peaceful out there, you know, because when, once you're sailing, the only, the only sounds you hear are the water from the hull pushing through the water and the wind, you know, and of course, whoever you're talking to on the boat, but sometimes I don't have anybody with me. And it's nice. <laughs> so it's very, very calming, very peaceful. I've been telling everyone, and this is an order, get over on your boat, turn your cell phone off and soak up your sunshine. That's an order. So tomorrow is the big day. They are preparing to set the crane up to get these boats in the water and all the boaters are very excited. With that, I'll throw it back to you in the studio, Jay.